So maybe we'll call it vlog number zero, and I won't commit to I won't absolutely commit to another one before the first of the year, but I wanted to get one done ahead of time. Uh, vlog rambling part one, take one. All right, everybody, Tom here, Podcast Productions. Uh, I know I said I was going to start the vlog in 2017. Well, I mean, I've been doing the vlog for a while. I'm going to do the vlog 2017, but I've got some hours to kill this morning, so while I wait for uh, repair, I wrecked my car last night. So I figured, eh, tragic life event. Seems like a good time to start a vlog. Uh, but one thing that I was really excited about is uh, this week, I was able to flesh out the rest of the skeleton and kind of finalize the story arc of how I want to do the the, um, the first series. And the first series has two very different titles. It's either called Depression or Taking a Look at Yourself in the Mirror. Uh, I'm not sure which one we'll go with. Uh, a lot of our titles tend to be one word, but I figure the overarching title could be something longer because each of the episode titles is only one word. And I've got five episodes planned. Um... The end does, isn't going to be an end-all, be-all, but it is kind of the end of that story arc for that character, so I figure I'll run with the, with the five episodes there, you know, which span several months of this person's life. So it's going to be kind of an a interesting timeline project as far as that goes. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Uh, originally, we were just going to shoot episode one and edit it and see if people liked it and then do the rest of the series if we got any good feedback, but we've had some production delays and I haven't wanted to stop writing, so I've written most of episode two, a good chunk of episode four. I know what I want to put in episode three, but I haven't written any of it yet. And same with episode five. I think three and five have titles. I'm I'm thinking we just with our production schedule, keep getting held up with different things uh, that we'll be able to hopefully get, we'll get it done and we'll at least get episode one done in January. We'll probably shoot one and two. I'll edit one and release it, edit two and release it while we schedule out. Three, four, and five, and hopefully we'll knock out three, four, and five in a second shooting set, and then we'll release those as we edit them. But anyway, this is this is basically where I do most of my work right now. Um, we're even using my apartment for shooting episode one. Uh, that's going to be a big deal for us to be able to shoot here, and just about everything we need is here in my apartment building or in my complex somewhere. So that's huge to helping us be able to set the shooting schedule. I just have to get the building to agree to let us shoot outside of the apartment, which they don't seem to have a problem with. And then we'll have our location for this one done. And we didn't have to do a whole lot of scouting. I do most of my work in Adobe Story. Uh, I like it. I think the software works pretty well. I like the ability to share with people, even though both my editors are hard copy editors. So even though I can share the files with them, they're just very big fans of why don't you just print it and hand it to us? So it does give you the option to export to PDF, which is great. I can print it, hand it to them, or I can send them the PDF. And they can print it out depending on what our timelines look like. Uh, those updates on that stuff is constantly coming out on our Patreon page. So make sure you check that out. Uh, some of it you can see just for free. Some of it, you know, you got to support us. But we don't do um, a per month subscription because we're doing on a on a per short film basis. What I'm imagining right now is something coming out about every six weeks that you'll be paying for, and then other stuff that if you're a patron, you're going to see for free in between. Um, actually, test footage, some of the goofy stuff that I've done with uh, with my friends over at the Temple Games. Uh, we've, we've put that up on the Patreon for patrons, but not charging them for it. Uh, maybe we should do a monthly. If we, were, if we end up start putting out something every week, we'll go to monthly instead, and just that'll be it. Um, so I'm still trying to feel that out. We've got a couple of patrons. They haven't been charged anything yet. And I kind of, but they kind of, you know, I feel bad because I told them we were going to have this done by Thanksgiving. And it's now getting closer to Christmas and episode one still isn't done yet. Also, I'm going to be setting up our December patron hangout. I'm just going to put it out there. December 28th, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll be here working and it'll either be a Skype call or a Google hangout. I haven't figured out the logistics of it yet. And we'll we'll do like a half hour, hour long hangout, however long it takes. You know, we'll probably get to see some clips and stuff, and we'll discuss what things are going on, what what's happening, and it'll be kind of like uh, a mini production meeting, except with my patrons instead of my production team, who hopefully will also be able to be there, so you'll get to talk to all of us at once. I think that'd be pretty cool, and I really appreciate 
any views, likes, whatever. Uh, make sure you check out our our um, silly video we did with the Temple Games. Uh, it's the first in what may be a series of completely improvised, like we literally walked into no plan whatsoever, completely improvised on a theme. We're going to create D&D characters out of people in the game shop. I think it's going to be really cool. The first one is kind of goofy and funny, um, but it's entertaining and it's only two minutes long. So give it a look. Enjoy. Thank you for your support. Thank you.